Hey there you 12s, I'm doing another example on crashing here. Let's see how we do this. So hopefully you watched my video on the previous example, uh, 2012 Vika multiple choice question 8. We're going to do the same thing for this one. This is 2013 Vika multiple choice question 8 as well. You've got A, B, C, D, E, so less activities than before. Um, the number next to each letter shows the completion time in hours. Uh, each of the five activities can have its completion time reduced by a maximum of one hour. So that's how much you can reduce. And each time you reduce it, it's $100 per hour. Okay. Uh, the least cost is what you're looking for to achieve the greatest reduction uh, in the time taken to finish the project is. And here, again, what you're meant to be doing is find the critical pathway to begin. So here we go. A, if I went up here, that's 4. 4 plus 5, that gives me 9. Whereas if I went on the bottom, that gives me 3. 3 plus 7 gives me 10. So clearly 10 is the bigger value. And then 10 plus 14 is 28. Okay? So my critical path is this. That's my critical path. Okay? So if I had gone with a 9, 9 plus 14 is then 27. Cool? Now, they want to find out... Um, if I can only reduce by one hour, what's the maximum that I can reduce? So the first thing I'm thinking about is uh, I would reduce, say, uh, all the ones on the critical path. If I reduce this by one, well, it's a bit thick. Let's, ooh, oh, no, I just deleted it. Let's reduce this one. If I reduce this by one, that becomes two. Reduce this one by one, it's six. And reduce this one by one, that gives 13. Okay. Now, if I did do that, can you see that my value now becomes 25? Because I took off three hours. True? So it becomes 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus, uh, wait, is that right? 2 plus, not 7, 2 plus 6 is 8. And 8 plus the 14, oh, sorry, 13 is uh, 20... What's, I'm getting confused. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8, eight plus 13 is 21. Okay, wow. Did I reduce it by that much, did I? I thought I only took off 3. So 2 plus the 6 is 8. 8 plus the 13 is definitely 21. Oh, interesting. So it feels like 21 would have been the answer, right? But it's not, because you have to now double check. Remember, the fact that I even got 8 at this point, can you already see that this was a 9? That was like 4 plus the 5 gave me 9. So that would have became the new critical path, which would have been a problem. Because if that is 9, that means that even though I was able to reduce it down to 8, the 9 still takes precedence because it's still going to take 9 minutes before E can even start. So 9 plus the 13, 9 plus the 13 still gives me what? 9 plus 13 is uh, 22. Still takes me 22. So I and remember, each activity I can only reduce once. So if I've done that, what you can see here is that if that's 9, maybe what I can do is... If I want to get down to 21, I may have to then reduce one of these ones. So if I reduce the C uh, or A, doesn't matter which one, but if I reduce it down by 1, let's say it becomes 4 now, can you see now 4 plus the 4 gives me 8 as well. So that changes the fact that this now becomes a critical path as well. 4 and 4 now gives me the 8 that I wanted before, whilst this is 2 plus the... Uh, 2 plus the 6 gives me 8 as well, because that's the minimum point that I can reduce down to. So 8 is the key part. So 8 plus the 13 that I reduced, 8 plus 13 is now 21. Okay, so therefore, what's the smallest value I can reduce down to? It has to be 21. You see, there's no point reducing A, because even if I reduce A down to 3, 3 plus the 4 is 7, 8 still takes precedence because 2 plus the 6 gives me 8. So unless I can reduce this any further, which I can't, because remember there was a cap of 1 uh, hour for, per activity. So there was no point taking A away. 
Um, so the best I can do is get to this point at 8, that was the best thing, and I, then I can reduce the E by an extra 1, and so 21 is the best that I can do. So how did I get 21? I had to reduce activity B, activity D, activity E, and activity C. Um, that's 1, 2, 3, 4 activities, 4 activities that I had to reduce. So the four activities would imply that that's one hour each, so that's four hours, four times the hundred means that I'm spending $400 to reduce this project down by four hours, uh, so the answer has to then be D. Okay, so that's how I would do this problem. Again, you can check your solutions, let's check our answers. Um, the answer is just on the right here if you didn't know, so question one which we had C, let's see if I did the, yep, I got C as well, and then what about question two? My answer was D, look at that, mean mark is 23%, and there you go, the answer is also D. So that's how you would do question two. But hopefully you're starting to pick up what I mean by crashing and what you have to look out for. Okay, so really find that critical path first, and really the tip is the more critical paths you can create, that generally is the answer. Okay.